Are you looking for the best keyboards for programming? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best keyboards on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. New PHY Air 75 V2. The new PHY Air 75 V2 is one of the best mechanical keyboards for programming you can get at a solid price point between not too expensive and not too cheap. Note that this keyboard isn't available from online retailers now, but you can find it on Nufi's website here. It offers an incredible typing experience without any modifications and excellent build quality, wrapped in one very portable unit. Additionally, it's fully compatible with any operating system, including Linux. It also supports VIA software, allowing you to customize backlighting, key assignments, custom layers, macros, and more. You can access this software using any Chromium-based web browser. It connects wirelessly with Bluetooth with up to three devices simultaneously and has an included 2.4 GHz USB receiver that offers a more reliable connection if you often work in congested wireless spaces like open offices. Thanks to the low-profile mechanical switches and chiclet-style keycaps, you can rest your wrists comfortably on the surface you're working on and reach the keys without straining upwards, which can make a big difference over long stretches. The keycaps are made of durable PBT with a slightly rough texture that feels great on your fingertips. Additionally, you won't have to worry about charging it too frequently as it has an impressive battery life with the RGB backlighting turned off. As a final note, this keyboard is also available in two other size variants, a more compact, 60%. New PHY Air 60 V2 and a larger New PHY Air 96 V2. At Number 2. Royal Kluge RK61. We recommend the Royal Kluge RK61 if you need a cheap, dependable coding keyboard. Impressively, despite its low price, it's also wireless and small enough to be easy to carry around. But know right off the bat that this compact unit lacks a dedicated function row and arrow keys, which can be a deal breaker if your workflow relies on these keys and you're not a fan of using shortcut combinations to access these commands. This compact model also has a hot swappable PCB, so you can easily replace the stock switches with the ones you prefer. It's an extremely versatile unit that lets you connect with up to three devices simultaneously via Bluetooth. There's also a variant with a wireless USB receiver that can be a lifesaver if you use it in a noisier Bluetooth environment, like an open office. That said, the battery life on the RK61 is on the lower side and maxes out at around 10 hours when used wirelessly. Fortunately, it also includes a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and you can use the keyboard normally while it charges. A few different variants of this keyboard are available, some, like the unit we tested, only have Bluetooth connectivity and single color backlighting, while other variants include a USB receiver and RGB backlighting. At Number 3. Keychron V1. At a budget price point, you'll have difficulty finding a keyboard that offers everything the Keychron V1 does. It's essentially a budget version of our top pick, the Keychron Q1 Pro. While it doesn't feature the solid aluminum frame found on Keychron's Q Pro series boards, it has a surprisingly sturdy plastic frame and either a solid black or a Y2KS frosted black colorway. It still has the same high-quality PBT keycaps, screw-in stabilizers, and layers of sound dampening foam inside the board to help reduce the ping and rattle while you type. Like the Q1 Pro, everything, from the internal hardware components to the firmware, is customizable, making this a great budget-friendly base to start with if you're interested in a fully bespoke unit for programming. The V1 and other size variants in Keychron's wider V-series are also easy to deconstruct thanks to the included toolkit, and it only takes about an hour to change out the stock components. There's a bit of a compromise since the V-series boards are wired only. So, if you're looking for a wireless recommendation around the same price range, we recommend the Abinslab N Pro 2. It isn't nearly as customizable as the V-series keyboards, but it comes in an impressive range of switch options from various manufacturers. It also connects wirelessly with up to four devices at once using Bluetooth, so it's an excellent choice for multi-device setups. Unfortunately, the battery life isn't great, maxing out at 8 hours of continuous use, 
so you'll likely have to charge it daily. At Number 4. Razer Pro Type Ultra. While all the above picks are compact units, you may need an umpad. In that case, we recommend the Razer Pro Type Ultra, a full-size wireless unit with great ergonomic features, impressive backlighting, and a nice, sleek aesthetic that looks great in any setup. It includes a nicely padded wrist rest and linear razor yellow switches that are incredibly light to press, so your fingers don't tire out as much. While it's a minor detail, this keyboard's default F row functions are hotkey shortcuts, like media keys. However, this keyboard's most recent firmware version adds an FN lock function that allows you to set the F1 F12 keys as the primary input, which can be helpful if you rely heavily on the F row for your workflow. This keyboard also has an outstanding battery life of up to 200 hours with the backlighting turned off. You can connect it wirelessly with its USB receiver, which also pairs with select Razer productivity mice, like the Razer ProClick, or you can connect it with up to three devices using Bluetooth, which is great if you're in a multi-device setup.